So first up is going to be Calculus 3. Now for me, Calculus 1 and Calculus 2 were fairly straightforward. You're doing integration, you're doing differentiation, and Calc 2, you're rotating things on axes um, and doing things like that, working with series. However, Calculus 3 was a whole entire different beast. You're doing similar things to Calc 1 and Calc 2, except you're doing them over entire surfaces rather than just in two dimensions. Now, whereas Calc 1 and Calc 2, I've used a lot of that information in many of my statistics classes after, I've never used any of the stuff I've learned in Calc 3, so it was just a hard class for no reason that I don't think I really had to take. Now the next one up is going to be mathematical statistics. And what we did in this class was we focused on concepts like confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. We focused on the math behind them and proving the nice formulas that you have when you take your exams on them. However, this class was really impossibly hard, but the teacher was very, 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 very kind and grading. So I ended up with a great grade in the class, but however, this is still one of the classes that gave me the most trouble because I had no idea what was going on in the entire semester. And that was with contacting some of the people in that class and getting together and studying all the time. It just didn't make sense. And you'll probably have to take it if you're a stats major as well. So just keep that in mind. All right, now onto the third class that is linear algebra, which at our school we called matrices. Um, this class for me is just something that has never made sense to me. I'm not very good working with matrices and multiplying vectors and matrices by matrices, doing different operations to matrices, finding eigenvalues. It's all nonsense to me. I don't understand it. I always go on the internet and look up a matrix calculator to find these sort of things, uh, which I think is completely fine. I mean, if you're in real life working with matrices and doing them by hand, I think you're doing something wrong to begin with. But this class gave me a lot of trouble and it was actually one of the worst grades I've gotten in college was in linear algebra. On top of that, the teacher was also from Texas. He had a very funny accent, but he was a terrible teacher. Hey, Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? <laughs> um, so that might have aided in the fact that I don't understand the concept at all. Now, number four is introduction to probability, specifically the first time I took it. The second time I took it, I had a great professor and I understood probability a lot better. However, the first time, the worst professor I've ever had. I'm talking like we have 50 minutes to do 20 probability questions. And if you've ever taken a probability class, you probably know they take about five to 10 minutes per question. Um, and we were supposed to do 10 of them in the span of 50 minutes. So that was difficult enough as it is. But on top of that, it was the first semester of COVID um, and we were all online. I just didn't understand anything. Luckily enough, I think it was really just the professor. I think you need a good professor if it's your first time taking probability because probability is something that it, it takes a different way of thinking. It's not normal math. Um, it's really counting, but it's in counting in a different way. It's one, one bet, two, two bets, three. Um, and you have to be able to think like that and you need a professor that can make you think like that in order to understand it better. Because if you don't, the rest of statistics isn't really gonna make any sense. But this was one of the har hardest classes I've taken. I'm glad that I dropped it and retook it with a better professor. But first, if you're liking the video so far, just go ahead, leave a like, it helps me out a lot. This is one you guys wanted to see, so just let me know. But the last class is mathematical computations. I took this one just this semester that I just finished up with, um, and mathematical computations was all focused on getting a computer to do math in the most efficient way. So we used MATLAB, and we went through different test cases of different math operations and looked at the operation count and how long it took them to do it. But on top of that, we also had to learn the math operations by hand, which was honestly the most difficult part. The class was structured very weird. So every homework we did stuff in MATLAB and then all the exams were by hand. The teacher was hard to understand. And honestly, he didn't do a great job at explaining why we were doing this stuff. He's just like, yeah, this is how many operations. This one you will use. You're gonna wanna use this one instead. But it really never more nuanced than that. It was just base level. Um, but the class was confusing. I was able to scrape by with a pretty good grade because of the grade scale. I think they recognize that it's an impossibly hard class. But now you might wanna know, how hard is a statistics major overall? Well, I go over exactly that in this video. So go ahead and click that and I'll see you over there.